Sunday. You're watching Project Life Size with me. So it's my Sunday, and uh, if you don't already know that Sundays we all do kind of our own little thing, and mine, uh, I usually talk about books, and I wanted to talk about the 50-day challenge. I feel like, you know, we've talked about that a lot, and I want to tell you why I'm not doing it anymore, <laughs> and it's not because I think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think um, for certain people, it's a great propellant, you know, to really get in there and dig in and read a bunch of stuff maybe that you've been meaning to read but for me like if I feel like there's a there's pressure for me to read books and I have to read this I go right back to grad school where I had to read books like this you know in one one of those a week and I start to like resent the process and resent the reading and just want to get through the book instead of really get into the book and so I'm not doing the 50 day challenge or the 50 book in a year challenge anymore but I am still reading and uh, I don't know, I just I just thought I'd share that, you know, if you feel like you're pressuring yourself or that it's making you not want to read and you're having to, like, push, don't feel like you have to. Read as many books as you can. It doesn't have to be 50. And, you know, definitely read what you love and don't feel like you have to fit into that box if that's something that isn't really, you know, gelling with the head. Um, last night I started... Megan Tongis, she calls me with these ridiculousness, like books about vampires and demons and things. She wants me to read Mortal Instruments, which I guess she has read all four, and I have all four now on my Kindle, and I started the first one last night. I don't know. I'm going to read them because she's read books for me. I asked her to read uh, Summer and e Ethan Frome, which are my two of my three favorite uh, Edith Wharton books of I love them. And she's read, actually, I think she's read about four books I told her to read. I told her to read Cat's Cradle by Margaret Atwood. I told her to read, there's another one. There's another one that she read. Oh, Summer to Die, which is by Lois Lowry, who, you know, she writes um, young adult books. And that was, like, I loved that book when I was a kid. And and I guess I owe her these mortal instrument books. Ugh, painful. You know, other than... My reading, I'm also currently obsessed with The Wire. If you haven't watched that show, it's an HBO show about, like, drug rings and illegal. Uh, it's fantastic. I don't know about you, but, like, when I get on a book, like, if I if I do read a series of books, I have to read them. Like, I, when I read the True Blood books, which, again, I didn't want to read, but a friend of mine wanted me to read, I literally would, like, finish one and then pick up the next one and start reading it. Um, but I get that way with TV shows, too. And The Wire, we're already on season, almost all the way through season two, and we just started watching them like a couple weeks ago. But I love it. And TV, I'm also obsessed with Bob's Burgers on a way off note. It's not about a book, but Bob's Burgers is actually like the funniest thing ever. And um, my ringer on my phone right now, if you know Louise, I feel like I am Louise. I feel like Louise is me. I am Louise. Hey, you can settle up later. Where the hell did you get all that money from? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Love it. Um, and I have so many books sitting on my nightstand right now. Um, but I'm taking my time and I'm not pressuring myself. And I hope you're all enjoying whatever it is you're reading. I want to hear all about it. And I will see you on Tuesday.